Hello and welcome to another video tutorial brought to you by Octotoots.com. So today the iPhone 5 came out, and if you're one of the lucky ones that has it, the last thing you're probably thinking about is its wallpaper. But regardless, a different screen resolution means a different wallpaper size, uh, so I decided to make the first iPhone 5 wallpaper tutorial. And today we're going to be making this stunning outer space wallpaper for the iPhone 5. Now you could... Now you guys can go ahead and just download this wallpaper uh, if you want to escape actually making it yourself. Head over to octodesigner.com, click on the extras, and click right there on the iPhone 5 wallpaper to uh, download that and put that on your iPhone 5. But if you want to make it yourself, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do that in this video. So with that being said, let's get started. We're going to click on File New. And the new size is going to be a width of 640 pixels, which is the same width as the old iPhone or the iPhone 4 or the 4S. Uh, but the height is going to be 1136 pixels. And we're going to make sure to have a high resolution of at least 300 pixels per inch. And press OK. So we have this now. What I'm going to do is just as a habit is unlock this background layer. So I'm going to double click on that and press OK. And we're going to actually choose the color black and fill this in. Okay, and then we're going to choose the paintbrush tool, and we're going to choose a uh, a grayish color. Um, I chose one with a hex code of two nine two nine two nine, and we want a nice big brush over here and a soft brush, and we're just going to kind of click around in the lower bottom area right there. Okay, so that's looking good. So now what we want to do is make a new layer. So Command Shift N if you're on a Mac, Control Shift N if you're on Windows. Press OK. And we're going to uh, actually choose the gradient tool. Make sure we have a black to white gradient. And click and drag from the bottom to the top. And then click on filter, render, clouds. And that's going to render some clouds for us. And now what we want to do is double click on these clouds. Click on gradient overlay. And we want to have this uh, spectrum gradient selected. Uh, if you don't have this open, they do have presets on this, so click on this little triangle and click on Spectrums right here. And then you'll have this color gradient, so we're going to click on that and press OK. We're going to change the blend mode to overlay, and we're going to change the angle up to maybe about, say, negative 32 degrees and press OK. And now what we want to do is actually send the blending mode of this uh, to overlay itself. And it's going to make it much, much lighter. And it's only going to focus on that area that we put gray on. So we're going to duplicate the layer now. So right click, duplicate layer, press OK. And I'm going to right uh, double click on that and click on that greeting overlay. And we just want to change the angle of this uh, and just kind of play around with it. That's looking pretty good. Press OK. Now what we want to do is duplicate the layer again. Press OK. But we're going to change the blending mode from overlay to color dodge and this is really going to brighten it up uh, we're going to double click on that go to that gradient overlay and uh, change up the angle just one more time uh, I'm really just choosing random angles here so feel free to choose whatever you want and press OK now what I'm going to do is I see I need a little bit more up here so I'm going to click on that background layer and choose uh, maybe a lighter color a lighter gray press OK and they just kind of start clicking up there and that one click really did it. Now I want to click on that new layer that we made, the one with the color dodge. And I'm going to choose an eraser tool with a nice soft big brush. And just kind of erase certain parts that I think are too much or uh, that I don't like. Okay. So that's looking pretty good. Now what we want to do is make some stars. So what I'm going to do is make a new layer. So again, Command Shift N if you're on a Mac. Control Shift N if you're on Windows. Press OK. And we're going to fill this in with the color black okay and we're gonna change the blend mode to screen so you're not gonna see anything for now uh, but that's just what we want because now we're gonna go to filter hover over noise and add noise okay so we're making a kind of a star starish looking thing right now but it doesn't look realistic yet um, I want the distribution to be uh, not uniform but Gaussian monochromatic definitely checked and uh, my amount is at about 18%. Press OK. And then what we're going to do is click on this half black, half white circle and click on levels. But before we mess with any of the levels, we're going to right click on that 
and press create clipping mask so it clips itself just to that star's layer. And now we just want to mess with these levels uh, until we get a realistic uh, star looking thing. All right, that's actually starting to look pretty good. Okay, and we could erase some parts of this if we want to make it look a little bit more realistic. I'm going to click on that eraser tool, make sure I have that star's layer selected and just kind of go around with a nice soft brush and erase some of that. Okay. And that's looking pretty good. Now what I want to do is add some sort of light source. As we see in the original uh, wallpaper that I made over here, we have a planet and then some light source coming in front of it. Uh, that could be the sun. That could be anything. It just looks really cool. So I'm going to add it. So we're going to make a new layer above this levels. Okay. And we're going to select the brush tool, select the color white. And with a nice large soft brush, we're going to just click on that light source up there. Okay. And now what we want to do is make a new layer for a lens flare. So let's make that layer, press OK, and then we're going to fill that in with black. And then we're going to change the blending mode to screen so the black doesn't show because we just want the lens flare to show. And to actually make the lens flare, we're going to click on filter. We're going to hover over render and click on lens flare. Uh, you can really mess with the type of lens flare that you want. Um, I'm probably going to end up choosing the 105 millimeter prime. Uh, with a brightness of about 100%, press OK. And we can move this around a little bit if we want, but that's looking pretty good on its own. And then one last thing, I just wanted to add that planet shape figure. So we're going to make another new layer, press OK. Uh, make sure we have the color black selected. And we're going to choose this tool, the ellipse tool. And we're going to hold down shift and click and drag to make that planet. And then we could just hide it behind a couple different layers like so. And there you go. We're pretty much done with this really, really cool outer space wallpaper. Now, if you want, you could add the Apple logo somewhere. Heck, add your logo, add your name or anything anywhere in this. But so far, I really like the way this turned out. Um, and I hope you guys really enjoy this wallpaper for your brand new iPhone 5. Hope you guys learned something new today, and until next time, I will see you guys later. Make sure to enjoy that iPhone. I know I'll be getting mine as soon as I possibly can.